A lot of people are being told right now that they need to vote, right? But they're not being really given much instructions when it comes to, I see a lot of people pushing the voter message, the, the you need to vote message, but they're not helping people understand the process. You know what I mean? So they wanna get as many people registered as possible. They wanna get as many people to show up to the poll location and just vote for whatever name or whoever has the message that you've seen the most on TV, essentially, right? But they don't, they don't spend a lot of time talking to you about the resources, especially in Georgia, the resources to learn about what's going on with the election. So I want to show you all real quick um, how to vote. This is how to vote in Georgia. And there should be a similar process in many other states, but I'll just show you Georgia because that's where I live at and I know the process. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to go to MVP, that's MVP.SOS. Dot ga dot gov right and that is the my voter portal pretty much of or it's called my voter page actually and it's pretty much it'll let you log in with your first initial last name the county you live in and then your date of birth you don't need any passwords you don't need to create an account you don't have to do any of that because if you are a registered voter in this county, in the county that you live in, your information will come up here. Being that there's a lot of personal information on here, I'm going to have to show you screenshots while I white some things out. But let me show you the first thing you'll see when you log in. This is what you'll see when you log in, right? The, 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 you'll see the logo up here, Georgia Online Voter Registration, right? My voter registration information here. You'll see my voting location. And these are menu tabs. You can click on all of them and get this info. My voter participates in history, absentee ballot portal, and my district and elected officials, right? So the first section on the my voter, uh, my registration information is personal information. You'll have your first name, last name, uh, middle name, last name, your gender, your registration date, your race, the race that you go by on the registration and your status this here is the most important part of this voter registration process right in the voting process you want to make sure you are an active voter a lot of stuff what what um stacy abrams has been talking about is people being purged from voter registration so make sure you are active if anything changes or if they if the secretary or, or your county voting officials attempt to send you some type of mail that needs a response and you don't respond it, within a certain amount of time, it will automatically make you an inactive voter in the state. You, would, you won't even know it until you go and attempt to vote and they'll tell you that you're not registered. They'll tell you that you're inactive and you'll have to go figure out why on your own. All right. So before you attempt to go vote, log into here. Again, you don't need to make an account. Log into this and make sure your status says active. Also, make sure your residential address is correct, right? Street number, street name, apartment if you have one, uh, the city, county, state, and make sure the mailing address is correct also. Because like I said, they will check people once in a while by sending mail, official elections mail to your mailing location. And if you don't respond within a certain amount of time, they will make you inactive, okay? That's the first thing I want to show you. Next thing I want to show you in this process is if you scroll down on that on that initial my registration information page, you can view your sample ballot. This is the val the ballot that is specific to the area that you will be voting in. This is a great, great, great tool right here, right? The reason this is such a great tool is because this is what brings me to the part that is always left out when it comes to voters and, and how to vote right when you click on view sample ballot and i won't do it because it'll have to show my personal information so i have a screenshot or i have to go to another tab when you click on view sample ballot you can come here and this is the entire sample ballot for the area that you live in again this is a tool in georgia i hope every state has this this is the thing, if you watch the uh, debate between Stacey Abrams and Brian Kemp, this is the, the, the portal that Brian Kemp was bragging about creating when he was Secretary of State. And I must admit, this is a good portal. You can't knock it. 
You can't knock it. This is really a really good thing. Okay, so as you can see, you have United States Senate right there at the top for governor, lieutenant governor. Now, the reason it's important to see your sample ballot in the most important process in the voting season, you want to get you a sample ballot and research every single person on here, not just the person you think you want to vote for. Research everybody on here. Also, when you get over to parts like uh, for Fulton County soil and water conservation, or when you start to get into these resolution acts and things like that, you want to read up on them. What do they mean? When they start to say, do you want to, do you vote yes on making this change to the constitution? Or do you vote yes on using tax money to do X, Y, Z in the school system? Read up on all of this stuff before you go and vote. This is the biggest thing that they leave out. This is the biggest thing that is left out when it comes to telling new voters about the elections process. And they barely tell people when they when they register people, they barely tell them how to find their poll location. OK, let me let me show you how you can find your poll location. So on that, oh, excuse me, on that on that front screen, right? When you when you log in up here in the menu bar you will see my voting location, right? And that will give you the address to the location where you are registered to vote, or it'll give you the address to the, lo to the polling location that is for your county and for the area that you live in. So it's very specific to you. So you don't have to worry about going to the wrong place. If you go into this portal and it says you're active and it has a polling location in here, that is the correct one. You won't have to worry about it. And, it'll, and if you're in Atlanta, it's a good chance it's, it's a pretty close drive for you, right? What is next that I wanted to show you guys? Also, now, if you go into this portal, you can also look at your voter participation history, right? Let me show you all my voter participation history. It, and it gives you all, anytime you ever voted, it's, it's public record, all right? It is public record, th the fact that you voted, but it's not public record who you voted for, right? So that's up to you. But if you if you look here, you can see that I just voted early on 1017. So first day of the first day of the election, uh, early voting season that just passed last week, I voted. So you can see that right here, 1017. The election is not until um, November 8th. And I know some of y'all, you, you know, some of y'all might be looking at my registration date here and you'll say, man, you talk all this uh, 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 political stuff and you just got registered last year. No, I didn't. That is so every time you move to a new location and you register in that new location, it will update your registration date. So it doesn't mean you were never registered before that. It just means that this is the most recent and current registration that you have. So if you go here, my first time voting in Georgia was actually... Um, the general election in 2016. And, and you can see that down here. Again, this is amazing that you can see your history of voting in a state, right? So, and, and, and this is just good. It's just a good uh, resource to have, I think. Now, another great resource on this portal, my district and elected officials, which is also up here across the top bar, my district and elected officials. Let me show you what, what it shows when you get there, right? So here's my districts and elected officials. Now I can go, I can click this link here and get a list of all of my statewide elected officials. This is everybody who, this is everybody in the entire state who's been elected, right? This is my city council district, district one of South Fulton City, the state house district is uh, 061. The county commission district is the commission um, district sixth. I can get a view of the entire congressional district map. My state senate is 38 district. My municipality code here, my judicial code here, congressional district. Now this is the U.S. congressional district, right? And the county school board. Again, this is how you vote. They tell you too much of, they give you this overview thing and they tell you, go vote, go vote, get out and vote, vote or die. No, no, the, the crazy stuff that they've been out here saying, right? 
but they don't tell you how. I'm telling you how right here. You go in here, you find out all your information and do this before you attempt to go to the poll location. Trust me on this.